Hi, I'm Duncan, I'm the manager at Meltdown, London's premier esports bar. And let's go inside and see what's going on. So right now there's like a gamers uh, having a tournament right here. Yeah, so right now we're in the middle of a League of Legends 2v2 tournament that we run every Friday night. You can see these guys playing right now. And the first prize for the tournament this week is a, a free Shadow Box with a month subscription. They're all playing on Shadow PCs right now, as you can see. Looks pretty good. Um, so Shadow is a cloud-based PC streaming service. Where from, from any device you can basically stream from a top of the range PC in a data center that's constantly updated to run everything on the highest specs. Uh, yeah, I think it's great. I think it's obviously it's new. Yeah, I mean, we, we've got it here right now. We're using it at the moment. You're the first. Yeah, we're the uh, first in the UK. Yeah, yeah. So today is the official launch. So it's a so let's check new. out. And uh, right here at the event, there's the Shadow Team. Yeah, my boy Patrick here. Hi, how's it going? I'm Patrick, so, I work hi, for Shadow. Who are you? Uh, my name is Patrick, I work for Shadow, and I'm part of the team that's bringing Shadow to the UK. So, uh, Shadow is a team of French guys, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, but you're now you're launching in the UK, and the British people are welcome. Yes, so we're launching in the UK. Uh, we're very happy to have new Brit, Welsh, whatever customers. This is going to be the thing that finally heals the rift between the British and the French. Finally, I mean, yes, it heals the rift. Just, just before we tear it open again. Tear it open, exactly. We're all gamers in this together. Actually, uh, even with Brexit, the, the fiber is going to stay, right? There's going to be fast yes. connection no matter what. We'll still be connected despite Brexit. It hasn't been negotiated yet. We might have to cut. We might have to cut the fiber. So it should be a, be a downer for you. But, uh, and here at the event, you even have some, uh, some, of the guy, some of the gamers buying the Shadow? Yes, absolutely. The uh, Shadow is available for purchase here at the bar and anywhere in the UK. And so we have some of the customers try and bought it and who are enjoying it. Hey, so hi. So you, are you a... Uh, you are a, a gamer, right? Yeah, I'm a full-on gamer. And uh, you're one of the first customers of the Shadow. You have it running on your phone right now. Yeah, I have at the moment. What I've do you think about it? I think it's great, actually. I mean, to be honest, I was upgrading my computer sometime this month. Yeah. But this package is going to make it so much easier for me to actually game on the go. And game at home, really. So, uh, so, so basically, you just bought uh, a fifteen hundred pound computer for seventeen pound for the first month, which is almost as a gaming machine. At the moment, I've got a six-core AMD seven fifty Ti graphics card, but I can only just about run Overwatch or League of Legends at medium to low settings. So uh, right now, you can play games like this, right? Oh, this is uh, League of Legends. This is not really. The most intense game, but that works fine on your desktop right now. It works fine on medium to low settings but, without any lag. So you're looking forward to be able to play with at, to any game full full speed, right? Yeah, with the max graphics on Overwatch, League of Legends, Fortnite, Warframe, I'm happy with it, and I can't wait to actually get home and try it. And the price? Pricing, what do you think? For the price, I mean, for the first month to try it at least is probably the best thing that's actually happened. So I'm happy. Cool. Let me check out these guys here. One second. Thanks. Uh, Did you win? Time. Huh? Did you win? Yeah. Uh, you won? <laughs> no. So, uh, so you, you are... You're one of the gamers over here. How was it to play on the um, on this machine? Yeah, no, it was great. I mean, I didn't really... I didn't know that I wasn't playing on a PC, so that was cool. And, it um, felt like a local desktop computer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It felt really normal and um, it was super chill to play. It was really fun. Enjoyed cool. it, man. So, are you time racing for the next round? No, no, no. Unfortunately, you, we lost. You lost? Yeah, unfortunately. But it's it came not close. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Because you're slow, right? Yeah, it's because I'm slow. <laughs> yeah. Is this his fault? Yeah, his fault. It was all his fault. Oh, I mean, it was good. It was good. It couldn't but help he, this it's, guy it's out enough. He's gonna be sad right now because the winners are gonna get one. You, you didn't win the. I know. I mean, I'm gutted, but I'll look into it. I might have to get one. Like, yeah, maybe. Cool. All right. And you, actually, you were telling me before that uh, you work with, with movies. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So you could use this for video editing, right? Um, yeah. So I've been told that it's where it works well with um, editing software and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. No. It'd be great. Alright, so it check good. it out later on ARM devices. Uh, yeah, cool. Alright, right, thanks. Yeah. Let me go walk around here. Hey. So, uh, right here you have the Shadow uh, machine right here. 
I'm a Roman. And uh, you work with Shadow. Yeah. And uh, right now, what are you playing? I'm playing uh, Wolfenstein 2. Uh, I'd like one point four uh, FPS. Where do you, where do I see the FPS? Uh, right. So you have 144 yeah. FPS. Yeah. Um, I'm probably gonna die, but. So how's that? Is it is it one of the big games? This one. Yeah, it's a game that came out like maybe uh, two months ago or something. Uh, it's a really good game, I like it. So it's a good game, it's very detailed, very advanced graphics. Yeah, it's based on uh, Vulcan. Uh, and it's the latest, basically, uh, technology available. It has like... Are you high settings and everything? Yeah, um, if, you, if you look at my settings, it's... Uh, I'm using like... Uh, everything at max. Here, like, you can see uh, ultra, everything at ultra. So, uh, and uh, the game has no problem being rendered on the, on the thing. It's really smooth and uh, really good. So, how long have you been working at Shedding? Almost two years now. Two years? Yeah. So, you one of the founders, kind of, right? No, uh, I came. Uh, yeah, on the f I'm one of the first ten employees. Are you CTO? No. But you you are you working on the on the apps? Right? Yeah, so I, I do. On the client software. What yeah, do I do all the the software basically. Uh, but you have a team like a, a bunch of really cool uh, engineers in Paris. Yeah, we're like a team of uh, three people at the moment. Uh, I have like Paul working on the Windows app. I'm mostly focusing on uh, Mac and uh, Android, and I have Muhammad working on the Linux app. So you have uh, Mac support. It's pretty cool that people can yeah. play on a Mac. Yeah. On any Mac. Any Mac. Uh, you need to have like at least 10.10. .10. As a Mac version, I think it's uh, Yosemite. Uh, but like, yeah, any Mac, uh, I would recommend uh, a Mac that is like at least 2011 or uh, after uh, to get the best experience. Because before there were like no hardware uh, decoding on Mac. Uh, but yeah. So that's one of the most important things with the, with the client apps, right? You need to be able to decode the video stream very fast. Yeah, that's and from so. the internet connection needs to be good to the decoder directly. Yeah, basically what we do is uh, so we receive the frame and decode it using the hardware usually embedded in the graphic card. So um, at 2011, MacBook actually it's maybe on uh, eBay or something. It's like two hundred euros. Yeah, but like you can't even buy like super cheap PC, like 50 euro PC with uh, Intel Atom uh, CPUs that would like work uh, at 60 FPS, 180p with no problem. 60 FPS? Yeah. Uh, what do you need to play 144? It's only with this box? Or no, uh, is there other hardware that can do 144? Yeah, you need like uh, a quite recent graphic card, I would say, like maybe uh, three years ago or uh, less. Why? Because it needs like to be uh, to decode really, really quick. Decode the video? Yeah, imagine that uh, you have like 60 FPS. So if you divide like one second by 60, it means you have roughly 16 milliseconds to decode one frame. Now let's say you are at 144, right? Uh, you roughly have like 6 milliseconds to decode one frame. So your decoder must be very fast. Uh, do you have your phone? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we can try. I... Are you on LTE or something? Can we go? Uh, 4G, so. Can we go just over there?
Because right here you have a. And then I'll take you to the other parts of that. And it works perfectly. This is the, the video? Yeah, there is. Like they say, it's the first time in a month. And like, oh my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not very video, man. And that's it. Yep. And which one is it? I uh, have Luke here, Roma, and Patrick somewhere. This guy? Hey. hey what's How's it going? So, what's your name? I'm Luke. So, what do you do? I am the community manager for the UK, actually. So, uh, this is a big day. It's very important. Oh, it's a huge day. I've been waiting forever for this. I mean, I arrived in the company about four months ago, and when I arrived, there was zero community outside of France. And so, for me, this is a big day. So, I'm, I'm able to interact with people and. Uh, Uh, yeah. Exactly. It's more. I would say it's more of an international speaking uh, account. So anybody outside of France, really. All right. Uh, so let's see your your Android. Um, so so how how good is your Android support? It's as good as it can be. Like we can decode uh, on recent graphics, uh, on recent uh, s. Uh, on the recent like CPUs, uh, almost 120. On the Razer phone, for example, which has a 120 screen, we managed to do a 120 rendering on the Android. So, did you? Uh, can you log in on your shadow easily? Yeah, I can. Like, let's, let's go right over here. So. Right here, just to get a little bit quiet uh, sound, because. Um, I think it's very exciting to have the Android support. Yeah, it's cool. Does that mean you can also support smart TV? Yeah, yeah, we definitely support like Android uh, TVs like Sony and Philips. Uh, that's that's awesome. So any Android TV, yeah, just like download the Shadow app. Shadow app on the Play Store. It's on the Play Store connect, for, and then for you, Google, you. Google TV. Yeah. And you connect the same. How, 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 like, can you get really good gaming? What, do you, what can you get? 4K? Yeah, you can get 4K. Uh, usually, like uh, Android TVs has add good like decoder support, so you get 4K. You get like good controller supports and everything. It's working pretty well. And uh, to, to log in is just one click. Or? Yeah, it's look. It's just this is Android, regular Android. Just start shadow and then boom, done. You get like you get your shadow on it. So basically, you can log this in. Is uh, your I, this is my my shadow basically. My. Do you do what do you do? Uh, do you um, do you do do you do development? Yeah, I, um, on your shadow. Uh, a bit. I lots of testing mostly. Uh, you need yeah. to compile code and it's really fast at doing that maybe. Mm. I, I could do that, but I'm not using it like this. I'm mostly using it to uh, test new features. Uh, my colleagues that are working on the streaming services are developing most of their code on Shadow because they're working directly on the VM. Uh, and yeah. So uh, there is this box that you sell. You call it the boîtier. The, sh the Shadow Box, yeah. The Shadow Box. Um, how good is that at the service? Like, it's a it's been, uh, did you also work on that box? Or uh, that a another bit, team? a bit, yeah. Uh, they optimize the hardware, everything for the best experience, yeah. right? The, the goal is, there were like two things we could not control with Shadow. One is your internet connection, and the second one is what PC you have. And we wanted to bring the best experience we could give you. So there is one thing we would never be able to control, is the internet connection, obviously. Uh, to your place, but there is one thing we could control is your computer. By giving you, like, by selecting the good hardware and selecting the good PCs and developing the a perfectly optimized software for that, for that, like, soft, for that PC, uh, that's why we built the box, basically. It's so, so uh, I don't know, maybe it's a secret, but let's say there's a few thousand users in France. Yeah. How many percent use the box and how many percent use the apps on uh, Android and stuff? 50-50 or...? Yeah, it's roughly something like this. Something like that, yeah? Yeah. But uh, I I'm guessing that it's, it's, it's not so easy to, for example, make an a Android client because there's many different Android phones. Yeah. How do you optimize for all the different hardware out there? 
Because uh, it's basically like trial and, and error. Like uh, a user will tell me, oh, on my phone, it's not really working. And I say, yeah, if you could swing by the Paris office, uh, we can try to fix it together. Or we speak on Discord together and then we try to fix it. Uh, so and sometimes we, we manage to uh, optimize the decoder. I have like loads of uh, optimization on my Android decoder to optimize for a MediaTek soft sock for Intel, for uh, Qualcomm. Qualcomm, for Rockship, for well, lots of different uh, system on chip. And uh, many of the Google TVs, I think they're running some kind of MediaTek. Yeah, or, usually MediaTek. Maybe some uh, Realtek, uh, Marvel or something. <coughs> but I guess it's a uh, Mali GPU or yeah, it's Power usually, VR. Yeah, it's those usually two, right? Mali, yeah. And so you optimize for those two GPU kind of? Yeah, but it's it's more complex than that. Like uh, it really depends on the OEM and on how it implements the Mali uh, GPU driver. Uh, so it's really up to the OEM on how it implements uh, hardware decoding on Android. So for example, like Qualcomm is doing a quite good job. Samsung and their Exynos are doing it next and jump. They're probably the best in terms of hardware decoding today. Uh, definitely Nvidia and their Shield uh, Tegra system on chip are also the best. Uh, the Chinese one, like MediaTek and and uh, and the other ones are like uh, depends. You try the all winner, the rock chip. And yeah, everything. all winner has like a very huge latency. Uh, rock chip is very good. Uh, what does the latency do? To is it the lower cost RAM or something? No, it's mainly because they put like frames in the pipe. So, for example, when you input one frame, you don't get the picture decoded directly. You have to input like four or six frames to get the first picture you put decoded. So you get like, again, 16 milliseconds time six, which is like a very huge latency. So um, the thing is, if you make a great app, if it becomes so good, there's no need for the box anymore. So that could be a risk, right? Yeah. How soon is it? Uh, uh, but, but you're the, not the, able the, to. The box is the box is uh, is also uh, a brand. Like it's it's our product. It's what we cherish. It's what we're striving for. Uh, you can always do the best app. You will always have like hardware that will be lagging. Uh, for example, a person will have a computer that's I don't know six years old, seven years old, ten years old. And he will not be able to get to do like 144. He will not be able to do 4K. With the box, you can do that without like buying a super expensive. Any of the Androids can do 144. Or no, no, no. Almost none of them. Like only, only 60. Only the 60p. the recent Qualcomm can do uh, 120. Like for example, oh, really? the, the Razer phone oh, can the Razer do. The Razer phone is 120 hertz uh, yeah. display. Yeah. Huh? So we we could do like 120 uh, hertz decoding on the Razer phone. Or on uh, this one outputs uh, HDMI too, right? Yeah, it, it, it has like uh, MH, MHL, I think it's named. Oh yeah. So you plug it, uh, and then you can. Uh, this is a Type C out, alt mode. Yeah. To Display Port exactly. or to, uh, to HDMI. HDMI directly. HDMI, yeah. And and that one can also do 120 on the external yeah, display. Did yeah. you try that? No, I did not try that, but, but it can. It should be. That's pretty cool. But it's only duplicating the screen, so if it's able to do it on the regular screen, you should be able to do it and on the... That's a Snapdragon 835, right? Yeah. Now there's an 845 coming next month, so it'd be interesting for you. You're probably going to get, as soon as the new phones come, you're going to yeah. be trying them all out, the right? The 25th of February, we're going to get the S9. <laughs> Are you going to Barcelona? To, uh, to the IWC? The no. You probably should. I, I used to be. You need to, to have a, a space at the Qualcomm booth, I think. <laughs> Maybe. Because they probably are interested to make sure that you have best uh, Snapdragon 845 support because maybe many other phones and many other devices will come with 120 hertz. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We, we would love to have like a, a space in the Qualcomm booth. Uh, I'm not sure what's planned, but maybe, yeah. It's just an idea. And how about iOS support? Is it Which one is better, Android or iOS support? iOS is doing a pretty good job in terms of all of the coding, I must say. Uh, Apple has optimized their phone to uh, decode video pretty well. Uh, we so you connect to their APIs and everything to get their video decode hardware accelerated? 
Yeah, we used uh, a layered uh, a layer to do all the decoding. It's basically it's what's yeah, fun. It's still almost still the same code still on still Mac still and on still iPhone. Still so you can see that Apple really think through their APIs when doing uh, Mac and doing iPhone and doing stuff. They have impressive video acceleration yeah. solutions for software developers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have they have some amazing like video editing apps on iOS yeah. that they don't have on Android, which is sad. But uh, so so uh, uh, how about uh, what's called uh, the Chromebooks are great. Mm -hmm. So the Chromebooks run the Android apps, right? Yeah, we're using the same app on Chromebook as on Android. Uh, we did not develop uh, an, a Chromebook, a Chromebook app. It's just the Android app on the Chromebook. Yeah. How about um, uh, Apple TV? Apple TV, uh, it's something we plan. I did some testing, but it's not out yet. Because Apple TV is not iOS apps, right? Yeah, but it's what still it? the same thing. It's Something still like... almost the same APIs as Apple, and it's super easy to port from one another. So do you work on the Windows apps? Also, yeah. So there's a Windows uh, 32, 64, and a 64 beta, I see. So yeah. what's, what's new in beta? What's going to happen? Beta is mostly the support for USB over IP. So USB over IP for... Uh, to connect your hard drive? Yeah, so you can connect your hard drive, your webcam, your mic, your... Uh, basically all your peripherals, like you want to use your uh, stick to uh, drive planes or whatever, and you can do but that. But can you connect the mouse and keyboard before or also? Yeah, but... Uh, USB over IP is more than just mouse and keyboard. Yeah, you could use like the Chroma software, for example, on Razer or like the Fnatic or changer or stuff like this. But it's called beta because it's not perfect? Some, yeah, because it's some bugs? lots of bugs. What bugs? Moment. I don't know, crash, random crashes. But <coughs> you, 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 uh, you and your team are just busy every day, right? Yeah. It's, it's probably a hard, uh, hard uh, what's called, uh, uh, how is the work in Shadow? Is, uh, how many guys and engineers and stuff? Uh, we have like 12 guys that are like developing software. And then we have like five guys working on the, the VM, and then we have ten guys working on the infrastructure and system administration. Infrastructure is a big deal. It's like yeah. server server yeah. gurus, yeah, right? Yeah. You need to like they, design they, the server systems. Yeah, they design the room, they design the server, they design how what's how to handle the software and everything. It's what's the amazing. secret algorithm to hand off the CPU from one user to the other, or uh, make uh -huh. sure that is that your secret sauce? Yeah, it's because secret you need sauce. to have a, a whole bunch of stuff going on. People can have uh, if they, as long as they keep their Windows running, they still have their dedicated yeah. PC. The, the the secret sauce is something I can't really share with you, but uh, what I can tell is that we have enough hardware to fit all of our users. So right here we had the meltdown. It's a cool esports bar. Let's go. Let's go back in just one second. Uh, because uh, um, I, I heard that uh, here at this bar they have 70 megabit. Yeah. And there's a uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, and there's a uh, six. Six, yeah, six. Running on 70 megabit. And uh, up there, so there's like uh, you, 10 megabit is enough. Yeah. Yeah, 10 megabits is enough. Uh, I would recommend using at least 15 to get the best quality. Uh, and the more bandwidth you have, the more quality you, you will get. All right. Let me, let me check with some of the users over there what they think. Right. I'm going to ask them. Yeah, thanks. Hey. Hey, what's up? Hey, yeah. guys. D did you play on the, on the machine? Yes, we did. So, um, did you win? Oh uh, yeah, we did. So you, uh, you're the in the final or win? Uh, we're just semi-final right now. Can we stand over here one second? Yeah, sure. So right here. So, what do you think about this? Did you know that it was a shadow? It's not. It's like in a server. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, I didn't know that before um, the, the staff told us that uh, the shadow is just... But it just feels like a normal... Yeah, it does. It actually, it does feel like a normal laptop or gaming laptop. Or... No, no slowdown? No, nothing. not at all. Not it at feels all. like a local computer, right? Yeah, it feels like a local computer and it saves lots, lots of space, right? What, what gaming machine do you have? I have home? an Alienware. Oh, it's a high-end, the best laptop gamer, in the no, highest, right? No, right? I had it for like a couple years now, so... But a couple years ago, it was the best. Yeah, but a couple years ago, it was really good. With the fastest GPU, CPU, everything? I believe so, yeah. And uh, what do you think? Do you, do you think it would be cool to have something like that, maybe? Oh, yeah, for sure. That's why I'm here, right? That's why I want to win this. So, so it's possible. You may, maybe it's the winner. Right? Yeah, there's a possibility. How, how, how many games more is needed before you win? Uh, two more. If two I more. win two more, I will win the it's whole thing. Is Bessel winning? Uh, the first one is Bessel 1, the second one is Bessel 3. If we win all of them, then we win the whole thing. Cool, okay, good luck. Yeah, thank you cool. so much. Hey, so. Uh, how's it been going, uh, the tournament so far? There's been no bugs at all? So far, so everyone seems pretty happy, so I'm going to say go ahead and say yes, but honestly, take their word for it, so. So there's been no slowdowns at all? Everything is smooth? Yeah, yeah, yeah everything has been good. Like, is it just like zero issues, or are you reporting any bugs or anything? Uh, no, the shadows have been pretty fine. I mean, anytime you let loose a bunch of people in a tournament for like five hours, there's gonna be, they're gonna do some dumb stuff. Uh, we have what, sir? Yeah, that is fiber, but like it's. Just, uh, the, what's it called? It's just a 70 megabit download, right? Yeah, but that is fiber in London. Like, we have two of those, but yeah. Yeah, you could maybe upgrade to uh, one of the. The new one, ultra fast. Or something. It's not available in okay. most of London. No. Welcome to UK internet. It's a wonderful thing. But, uh, but the thing is, like for most users, like if you have 30 megabytes at home, that's absolutely enough. But we're obviously we're trying to run five at the same time, and we have 270 lines, and it's working fine. So yeah, I mean, there's some parts of London where you can get 200, but this is not one of them. It's very small parts of London, like Shoreditch and you know just around St Pancras. But, so it's going to be an uh, interesting uh, future in the next few weeks and, uh, and you'll have more and more use out of this, right? You can uh, do all kinds of different tournaments or is mainly the League of Legends? Uh, no, so we have like a weekly schedule usually where we do, we do Smash 4, like Dota, um, <clears throat> like PUBG and then yeah, basically we cover all different games and then on weekends we do different stuff so we do like Hearthstone, Fortnite, like um, Smite, and like all basically every and League of Legends, of course, we do every week as well. So, so pretty much whatever more, esport you're into. Some of the more high end, uh, high, higher demanding games too, right? Yeah, yeah. Like uh, higher GPU, higher. CPU yeah, I mean, like that's that's the upside of Shadow is basically any issues we have are kind of connection related, so they're not going to really make any difference whether you're playing a very demanding game or a less demanding one, because their data center has all the technology to run anything, so, so yeah. Maybe you can put one of those cables uh, into the direct fiber, get a gigabit in here. That'd be cool. It'd have to be a really long cable. That'd be cool. You can add a bunch more computers. Uh, there's, there's no gigabyte bit available here, that's the problem. If there was, we would have it, but if you run maybe... Maybe you run a 10 mile cable from here, then maybe you get to wherever the gigabit is, but right. it's not here. Cool, thanks a lot. Okay. Cheers, man. Uh, starting from 15 megabits. So uh, here in the UK, people can just sign up right now at uh, 26, 27 pounds per month and do some high end gaming. So, uh, the connection from London to your server in France is the same as from Paris to the server? Precisely. Same speed, everything is, uh, is like local. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So actually there's more, there's more lag time maybe from the display to, than from the, this to the server. Yeah. 
There could be. Uh, it just sounds like magic. It sounds like very immense.